be reverent and attentive. Peace be with you. With, with you, you and, and your spirit. spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to Christ our Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent steward, whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the men's maidservants and the men servants, and to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day at an unknown hour, and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. And glory to God forever. Glory to Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus gives a beautiful parable and an explanation today. And I think what the Lord is trying to teach us today is to be prepared. I think that if we started living for heaven, we would have much less problems in the world. You see, we live a lot of times for this world. We live for the joys of this world. We live for the successes of this world. And that only leads us to anxiety. That only leads us to stress. And it doesn't allow us to be prepared for when the Lord will come and for at a time that we won't know when he will come. And so I think it's important for us to think about that, is if Jesus came back right now, I mean, just imagine that. Imagine the world ended at this moment. And we don't ever think of that. We don't ever imagine that. We don't ever take the time to even think that that's a possibility. It's literally a possibility that the world could end right now. And so are we prepared? Are we really living for heaven? Or are we like the world that sits, like in this gospel, to eat, drink, and get drunk? Because sure, food is pleasurable. Sure, drink is pleasurable. But my brothers and sisters, everything in this world is temporary. Nothing in this world is forever. Only God. Only God is forever. So what are you doing to work out your salvation? What are you doing to live for the Lord? We have a beautiful icon on the altar here called St. Joseph the Worker. The icon is not called St. Joseph the one who collected unemployment, okay? It's called St. Joseph the Worker. Because in this life, we're meant to work. In this life, we're meant to labor. In this life, we're meant to suffer, to carry our crosses, to follow the Lord, whether it's hard, whether it's easy, to work for Him. And only then will we be truly prepared. And so let's be prepared today for the Lord. And whatever God is asking us to do, whatever He's calling us to work on, let's work on that very thing so that we can be ready and so that we can truly live for the heavenly kingdom. Amen.